Yay! How are you doing, everybody? Happy Wednesday. So excited to be here with you today. And I have some exciting things to sort of drop in and share as it comes through that I believe will greatly support you um, during these times because we've got some pretty intense energies going on. And so I'm just going to wait for a few people to chat or jump on. Hi, Cindy. How are you? I know we've got some people over on Rumble. Hello. So excited for you guys to be on today. And if you don't know who I am, my name is Tanya Powell. I'm a conscious creator. And I'm super excited about some of the things we're working on uh, currently with the website and uh, shifting things up. And it's always fun to be in creative mode and tapping more into the quantum field. And we'll be sharing more about that. We'll be sharing more how we create our reality and what habits do you need to have? We've actually registered a name called Habit Highway, and that'll become a um, online presence for sharing other habits from other people. And so that'll mostly be on Instagram. So if you're not following us on Instagram, please do. Hello, Laura. Hello, Janice. So good to see you guys. It's a beautiful sunny day to here today. And I literally just got in from a little nature walk where a couple hummingbirds did this beautiful show for us. I was like, oh, thank you. Because hummingbirds, you know, they're just so darn cute. How can you not like them, right? And hummingbirds actually have a lot to teach us because um, they, they flap their wings so fast that you can't even see them, which goes to show that we can't see everything with these eyes. So there's a little proof there for you. And, you know, they're, 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 they're doing their job, so to speak. And everyone has their place in nature. And we've kind of lost our center with that. We've lost our place in nature as um, as human beings. Um, we've, we've gone off and we're now uh, very disconnected. Many of us, not everybody, but very many of us are disconnected from nature. And yeah, hummingbirds so much. Yeah, me too. Hummingbirds are beautiful. And when I go to Vedette Lake, there's a few hummingbirds there. And I love to just sit out there and listen to them and watch them. And they get really like, territorial about the feeders. It's pretty funny. I'm like, there's lots to go around, guys. They're like, my turn. No, it's my turn. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Carmela. How are you? Yeah. Hi, Andrea. Hope you're doing better today. Glad to hear the dog's doing all right. And yes, probiotics. Uh, her dog had a bit of um, blood in its stool. And, you know, these things always come up. And it's always good to remember that your gut is your second brain, whether you're a dog or a human, and that it's really good to um, Make sure you take care of your gut, which is probiotics. There's lots of herbs you can take, uh, lots of seeds you can take. I'm, I'm eating um, raw sprouted pumpkin seeds from Chef Agat right now so that I can um, focus on um, making sure I take care of anything that I've picked up in all my travels. So whenever we're traveling, yes. Hello, Paula. Thank you for letting me know. I know everyone with their different names on Rumble and Telegram and Facebook and it can be challenging to keep up. So don't be shy about dropping your name in there, how I may actually know you. So yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> ah, beautiful. Hey, Tango. All right. So let's, let's drop in for a minute. Let's take a few deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. One more time. And if you allow, I'm just going to do a little grounding with everyone and just bring you into this now time and space. It's the time to relax, enjoy. I um, pulled a beautiful card to read today. Thought it was very, I shuffled them and asked for one for the collective about where we're at right now. And it's an oracle card. It's, um, the sacred forest oracle card. So you're all coming in the woods with me in this deck today. <laughs> and you'll be seeing me outside more doing um, shorts and clips and videos and starting to really tap into that. We're creating an ebook right now about how the humans are, humans are so connected to nature. And that, that'll be done shortly, probably early next week. And then we'll be putting that out for signing up. It'll be the gift that we have for you for signing up for the newsletter on the website. And so those will always be really informative. We're shifting up the pattern on that. We'll have something in there health related, um, something in there financially related and giving you some more um, tools to have in your toolbox for you. 
And so that's sort of our mission with that. Um, and then of course, you know, we've got a lot of other things in the works that are very exciting. So let's read the card. Are you ready? Drum roll, please. I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> Frog spirit. Frog spirit. And even where I was walking today, there was a pond and I always feel um, the frog spirits with me. Uh, and remember too, you think about it, if you can call in the, the abundance of frogs, because frogs don't chase after flies, they, they draw the flies to them. And I always think that's a beautiful uh, analogy for how we can draw abundance to us. And it doesn't have to be in the form of money, because what you really need is you need might be, you know, oh, I really need some more cat litter, for example, or dog food, right? There might be something else you need. And if you were listening to David the other day, he takes a lot in trade. So if somebody doesn't have the money to pay him, he will take it in trade. So a lot of canning, uh, a lot of gifts that way. So I encourage you to think about other ways of achieving abundance that you need or what you're missing. And I do believe, you know, barter is going to be coming back stronger than ever as we move forward. And so as we get through these times, um, think of other ways that maybe you can achieve what you, that which you desire. And, and speaking it out loud and saying it out loud is really important because remember, that's one of the, the manifestation points. It actually creates that frequency and it's creating your reality. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. If anyone's guts are off right now, it's funny because this is part of the energies, guys. So before I read this, let's just tap into this because... Uh, Paula is saying, great advice of the gut. My gut has been sick today, unfortunately. Yeah. And so gut health is super, super important. Apple cider vinegar comes to mind for you right away. I don't know if you've taken any yet. And when when there's something within dis-ease, discomfort within the body, it'll manifest as a symptom, which is a gift. Because now you know something's amiss. If it was not there, you wouldn't know it needed attention. And so I was like, oh, what's going on, right? What's happening? And then as you you can ask, please show me, please tell me in a way I can understand what is going on, right? And so, yeah, those probiotics are really important. I do a lot of fermented foods. I do um, pickles that are naturally fermented, not in vinegar, not in regular vinegar, uh, kimchi, um, also uh, sriracha. My sriracha is fermented. <laughs> Sauerkraut is fermented and I mix them up. So I'm always getting some probiotic in my in with my meals. To me, it's really, really important. And it really keeps me in balance that way and, and can support you. All right. Frog spirit. Renewal. Renewal. And wait till you hear. I just read a couple minutes of it. And I was like, oh, this is so perfect for today. A large golden brown frog sits heavy on a lily pad in a still pond as a warm, sleepy dusk dissolves into night. Its deep, sonorous song, sonorous song <laughs> reverberates through the rising chirps of crickets. The chorus of the frog is raucous and joyous, seeming to echo loudly in your soul. A, a gaggle of tadpoles lurks at the edge of the pond, hidden and safe, waiting with expect, expectant patience until the metamorphosis occurs. So not like, unlike the butterflies, right? Tadpoles also, they also go through this process. The frog's three stages of development, egg, tadpole, fully formed amphibian, symbolize renewal, resurrection, and transformation. How perfect is that? The card speaks of a profound restoration of your life that is occurring. It's never too late to begin again. If your past was less than successful, remember this. What has occurred does not need to mandate what will occur. You can start out fresh and new. However, if you do what you've always done, you will get what you've always gotten. Right? So if you're in that loop, you're going to keep getting that loop. So you have to change something in order for anything outside of you to change. Abundant... Ab Abounding good luck is activated and awaiting you. Reflect on the varying symbolism of the frog in different cultural traditions and see if any meanings resonate for you at this time. In ancient Egypt, the frog symbolized birth and rebirth. 
In certain Native American traditions, frog medicine is healing by virtue of transformative life. Ancient Celts believed the frog represented healing because of its connection with water and the way that it transforms from tadpole to adult. In China, the frog is a powerful symbol of prosperity, healthy childbirth, and good luck. The spirit of the frog says, be willing to release any preconceived notions of how life should unfold. This is a time to be adaptable, be willing to change, abundance and good fortune will follow. And so as you make even just small little changes as you go through life, they amount to a lot over time. And being really important to not beat oneself up for not changing fast enough because, you know, you don't need to. You're perfect as you are right now in this moment. But we strive to grow and expand for the greater good of all. In fact, if you don't change and everything stays the same and you're on that wheel, the body becomes stagnant. You are energy. You are, you know, you're mostly water. And so you need to refresh, replenish. And spring's a great time to think about doing a cleanse. It could be an all juice cleanse and stay mostly on vegetable. I wouldn't dive into uh, huge sugar juices. You can do the cleanse that I do. This is my daily one. And as the weather gets warmer, I find it so much easier to extend my fasting point to only eating once a day and then roll into 24 hours. Uh, it's much easier for me. And so it would be really, really good to think about this. Just planting some seeds. You do with it what you will. Uh, you could go on a vegetarian. So take, stay off of dairy products and meat products for a week, a couple weeks, a couple months and see how you feel. Now, I'm not saying anything should be done long term because I'm a, I am a strong believer personally for myself that I do collagen and bone broth and stuff. Um, if I'm not eating meat and I do do, uh, goats, goats, cheese, and I don't use goat's milk, but I'll definitely use like coconut milk. And so I don't eat a ton of, uh, beef, hardly at all. I eat quite a bit more fish and some chicken, but even that, like there's lots of meals lately where it's just been like salad. I'm in a, I'm on a salad. We're just salad kicking right now. And so that's also a good way to lead into a fast, start reducing things so it's not such a hard hit on the system. And it makes it much, much easier. And one of the really uh, good things to do first thing in the morning is to drink some warm lemon water about 30 minutes before you have anything else, because it'll help to activate and flush out the system. Okay. And so these are just some of the things that I do. And then, of course, there's my lymphatic drainage video I've shared. There's other acupressure points, and I'll do a little session on that um, all on its own and share those out as well. And uh, so you'll be seeing some of that. And I'm just curious, what would you guys like to chat about today? What's what's got you off your center, so to speak? Is there something that you've been witnessing or watching that's taking you and pulling you in that direction and garnishing for your attention, which is also where your attention goes, energy flows? Yeah. Yeah, you can do the cayenne pepper too. Absolutely. That's always good for a little detox. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Let me get a few more people dropping in. So I'm just going to few accept, take a few deep breaths. Yeah, this time is for you. Hey, I must have banged the wall. Can't have crooked pictures. <laughs> Yeah. Um, what else? So finding your center for me, my center is within me. And if you just want to take a moment and you're not driving <laughs> and you can close your eyes for a moment and just take a deep breath. And as you're thinking, you can tap your higher heart and just try and put your attention there. And because you're tapping, you're giving your brain something to focus on, which makes it easier to drop into the body a bit. And so you can do the same thing with your belly breathing, right? Put your attention at the bottom of your, on your stomach to, to fill it up. We're all breathing really shallow and you can choose to open your eyes if you like, but find your center and you can do that. Just breathe for a few minutes with your eyes closed. Cause that always brings me back to center. 
And then before I go and see a client, I always say may, may be the best outcome for everyone involved, whether that's a painting client or a client coming to see me here. And I've gotten some local people um, that we're meeting as well in person. Now I've got a studio space um, that I'm utilizing at a friend's gym, which has been really beautiful to, to access that and to get connected with the people at that gym as well. And it gets me out of the house. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, huge changes coming. Absolutely. Yeah, there's a, and I don't think anyone is um, not going through some sort of change right now. So the it's a big shift. We're being squeezed a bit, right? The energies are coming in high. It's time to to focus on what do I need to let go of? What do I need to change? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Whatever you need to let go of will come to the forefront, whether that's a memory from childhood or it's something that, especially if it's repeating, it's something that you need to look at. Yeah. Yeah. Real separation from negative and positive energies. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And there's tons of fear of porn out there still as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I wanted to share, there was something I witnessed and saw in the news. And I just want to remind everyone that's on here. You know, you can't believe everything you see in here, obviously, right? And we're supposed to use discernment, right? And we've talked about that. But I'm really going to recommend unplugging, unplugging and getting outside in nature because it's ramping up more and more and more and more. Um, and a lot of it's, I call them psyops. I'm like, if that was true, the government would never let that information out. It just wouldn't be out in public. Like why all of a sudden now, right? And so you, you're you getting like this broad spectrum. And I was talking about April 8th and how many things are happening on April 8th. And I've just <laughs> pulled it up in a little energy ball and, you know, surround it with love and put it in the pocket bucket. because. I know that I'm just going to be me. I'm going to continue on the path that I'm on. I'm not, you know, there's no doom and gloom within this soul. There's only, it's only love and it's only peace because that's what I'm choosing. So how I'm choosing to operate, because as we have this collective consciousness, the more of us that retain this, the more positivity we affect out, the more we get small and give our energy away, the more we're lifting up to like counteract that right? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Thanks, Janice, for sharing that. Yeah, Sandra, you're not alone. Uh, so cold and snowing there in Iowa. Yeah, I would say that there the weather is still being augmented. <laughs> uh, definitely. And the reasons why it's, you can, you know, you can, say it could be, you know, it could be many things. Do I know for fact? No, I don't know for fact. But I do know a lot of weather has been modified in order to hide military activity. That is one, right? Um, and I do know um, that they are, they are shifting things. And the more, the more one can accept and allow and control what you can, the easier it gets. In fact, if I was you and there was snow in Iowa, when I, when I came back here and it was cold, it was like, we're going to watch a comedy. We're going to play a game. So I was doing things that were laughter and joy so that one could uplift spirits, even though, right, even though it's um, not as cozy outside or doing a puzzle. Love doing puzzles when inside because it really gets the brain going for sure. So lots we can do. Yeah, you're ready for sunshine. Absolutely. I get it. It was sunny here today. But I can tell you, even here in Vancouver, they're spraying. <laughs> what they're spraying exactly I have no idea. I don't know if they're covering for action. I, I'm not tapping into it because I'm not giving them that much of my attention, right? So what can I focus on? What can I do? And that's what I want to remind you all. Yeah, just unplug and get outside, even if it's only for a few minutes to go hang out with a tree. And if it can be longer and you get out for a hike and you go sit by a river and you listen to the water running, it can be so cleansing. And there's some really good um, information, like, you know, whatever, you know, this exchange we have with trees is so beautiful. And the birds, the birds are chirping for us because that frequency, you know, it's this beautiful morning greeting and, and, and good night to the evening. 
like when you really start to observe nature, it's like, ah, oh, it just, it's just incredible. And, you know, even animals, dogs, cats, it's really funny because uh, the front of my house, there's a, in the, my front planter, I've been putting in sunflower seeds for the birds and then, you know, some food outside for the crows. Cause you know, they, they'll eat that stuff. So rather than chucking food, I like put it in this little corner for them. And we had like 12 crows the other day and I was like, whoa, what's going on? And they were all calling at the same time. And I was like, Ooh, I bet you it's nesting time and somebody's in somebody else's territory. That was kind of the information I was getting. And it was fascinating just to be able to observe and watch. And then lo and behold, as I'm out, I have this one tree. I just go sit outside from my front door on some grass. I've got crystals planted underneath the tree and right where I sit. And I just sit down and I just observe. And all of a sudden I see an eagle and there's a big eagle going around. And so it's just that, you know, that observation and then observing clouds, right? What's going on with the clouds? What's happening there? Because you get, it's like an active meditation without you thinking, oh, I got to meditate, right? Because I know if you're struggling to close your eyes and just to listen, I've been adding meditations to my one-on-ones with people, some personal guided meditations, and I'm getting some great feedback on that. You guys all love my meditations. We'll do one today. Absolutely. As we go through and, you know, it'd be really important to, to just take, even if it's just five minutes. And if you can extend that, one of the easiest ways to start shifting, if your mind is really busy, is just to listen to the um, ohm for 21 times or listen to, you know, I do the vowels for myself. My tuning is the vowels. Ah, uh, right. You can do that yourself to do toning. Ah, uh, and as you do that, your frequency is toning your body. And so, even if you think you sound a little bit crazy, it's okay, right? You can do it. You can sing every little cell and accentuate on the vowels. It's a really beautiful way of of toning your own body with your frequency. We have everything we need. We just haven't, we've, we've forgotten how to do it. We've forgotten that moving the body moves energy, that dancing is good for us, that moving our hands with Qigong helps to shift the energy flow, that even just doing this clear can clear the energy and clear your mind, right? And that you have, I call them access bars on the side of your head, running along the bone there, and they go back to here. And so if you take both two fingers and you run it just above the ears, you can feel it. And if you have a tender spot, you can stop and massage it. And it's really helpful. Absolutely. Really helpful. You've got the capacity to shift things. You can pinch your ears. You have points on your ears. And if you take your finger and just pull on the inside of your ear right here like this. And just take a few deep breaths. It immediately drops down and relaxes you. And so you could do one and then the other, maybe just a minute on each. And that's interesting. That one's a little tender right in here. So now I go to that point. So you've got all these acupressure points. And that's really interesting because now that's going back here. And so if you just follow it and put attention to it and intention, and you can activate your hands, activate. And breathe it out. Send it some love. I don't know why you're sore there right now, but I love you, even though I don't understand you. That's a new one. I've never had anything there before. So as we get these upgrades, there's a lot going on. Like a lot. It's not sore on this side, but it's sore on this side. Fascinating. Rubbing your ears and tapping your entire head. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. So Andrea, I just want to speak to this because I know Andrea and I know her dog Lily and I got that with Lily was okay, right? Um, so if you go to the vet and you know, peace of mind is everything and they're going to want to give an answer and they gave a few probiotics, what could she have taken instead that wouldn't have needed that that can be incorporated in the diet? 
I still with you. So why are you now suddenly believing the vet? So I take everything with a grain of salt. Yeah. My daughter was really upset about our cat and we took him to the vet. And as far as I'm concerned, if a cat is still purring, a cat is okay. <laughs> if a cat is not purring, it's got something to say. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, I'm just going to run over to Rumble. Yeah, Paula, definitely. You know, and I happen to know some of you, um, I have some pretty intense jobs and some pretty intense uh, side things that you're supporting and working on. And that unplugging is the most important. Everything else can wait. It'll be there, right? Taking a break on your lunch break and, and going for a walk instead of sitting on your phone is really important. You go, Tango, run away. Uh, Yankee gone south. My birds, uh, I love being outside. My birds in the birdhouse, the baby raccoons are awakening of spring. Can't even describe the feeling so cleansing. Exactly. It's a good time to cleanse. Absolutely. Yeah. So Andrew, don't doubt yourself ever. Don't ever doubt yourself. Your, your parents needed to hear that, right? They need to hear that, that she needed something. Cause that, you know, if I was the vet, it might've been wise to say that too. If I saw their energy coming in. And so how else can we manage our energy? So we can get outside and bare feet. We can hug a tree. We can take 10 deep breaths. We can listen to a guided meditation. We can listen to frequencies. Whatever you're called to do for you, we can listen to nature sounds. Uh, my daughter, when she's falling asleep, is listening to nature sounds. I'm like, yes, better than, better than some things, right? Yeah, absolutely. All right. So let's drop into a little meditation and see what everyone needs today. And if you have any um, specific things, I'll give you a minute first. Any specific things you'd like some healing on, let me know in the chat. I love this. Yeah, mastering the habit of rubbing my ears. Yeah, and you can even tap your face. Don't let things take you off your center, Andrea. Your feet. Okay, perfect. You also have points on your feet. So rubbing and massaging your feet with your hands, um, putting your feet in, in salt baths as well can be very beneficial. So yeah, we'll put some extra attention on the feet today. <laughs> Carmela, are you asking for your fish to have some healing? Can you clarify that, please? <laughs> All right. Go ahead and I'll give you a couple minutes here to, to put some stuff in the chat as I just drop in. And we'll bring the amethyst in. Well, that's going to be sitting just on here for you guys. Perfect. We'll bring up another point of amethyst. We've got some good amethyst going on. We'll bring in a little green for the heart. Janice wants her hands worked on. Absolutely. And head. Okay. Yeah. Epsom salts. And you can also put in things like peppermint. You could put in um, diatomaceous, not diatomaceous, um, bentonite clay uh, would also be helpful. And a little baking soda. So I bought my mom a, and shoulders and neck, got that. So I bought my mom a foot bath and then I made her a little kit with some salts. I put some lavender in there and I put in, um, some of the bentonite clay and some baking soda and just mixed it all up for her. And so just fill it with hot water and then put in, you know, a quarter cup of this and that should help. So perfect. We've got some bloating, transmuting grief. Okay. Head, shoulders, and neck. A lot of, a lot of tension through here lately. Yeah. Uh, tummy issues, unusual for me, uncomfortable bloating. Can this just be stagnant energy? Yeah, it could be. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot going on right now. So you're, you are going to be feeling it in different areas, trends. All right. Okay, so I'm going to take you through a guided meditation and we're going to work on these specific areas. And we're going to do some affirmations as well that you can listen to and state them out loud as you're listening. And so this time is for you. So I'll have you close your eyes. Yes, anxiety. Absolutely. Are 
Breathe in through the nose. Filling your belly. And breathing out of the mouth. I'm going to do this four more times. Remembering that we have more hairs in the bottom of our lungs than we do on the top. So it floods the body with oxygen, which helps relieve any symptoms and gets more oxygen to work for your cells to help heal and cure whatever's ailing you. So in through the nose. Out through the mouth. 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 So now I just want you to rest and breathe in through the nose and out through the nose naturally now, but still breathing deeply to fill your lungs. Let your belly blow up a little bit. It'll help. It'll help with your gut. It'll help with anxiety. It'll help with whatever's ailing you at this time. And I'd like you to focus on amethyst. Because amethyst is very healing and amethyst can also assist in the cells. So you can put amethyst in your water and allow it to sit overnight. Or you can have it in a big water jug and leave it in there permanently. It can hurt you and it won't dissolve. But it'll help to transport water right into the cells which stops any sloshing in the belly when you drink too much water. So since I've put an amethyst probably about a year ago in my water cooler, I don't have any issues. I never have um, sloshy belly and I drink a lot of fluid. So I'm always moving energy and that um, requires me to do that. So we're going to start at the top of our head and we're going to visualize our beautiful white beam of light coming in. And today it's got a hint of pink to it. We're coming in from the 12th dimension. And we're bringing in some healing, balancing, sense of peace to you. And I'd like you to imagine this now coming down through the top of the head, through all your cells and all over your skin. And it's coming down over the top of your head and it's moving down now. It's coming down to the top of your ears, over the forehead and down the back of the head. And as it's coming down, it's also moving in a clockwise direction. And it's going through your brain right now and calibrating and clearing any stagnant energy, any stress, and replacing it with a sense of peace. And it's coming down over the ears, over the eyes, down the back of the head. It's beautiful energy. It feels amazing. Where your energy goes, tension goes, the energy flows. So keep your attention there. Now it's going over your, over your nose, over your cheeks, around the center of your head, in the ears, around the ears. It's coming down the back of your head. It's going around your jaw, your mouth inside your mouth, your tongue, the back of your throat, your throat. And we're clearing out any stagnant energy. Quite often grief can be in the throat. You can feel it like a lump in your throat. It's one of those reactions that we get. And grief is part of the process of letting go. Letting go of maybe a soul that was close to you. Letting go of a friend, a job, a home, a pet. Could be anything. It is part of the process, your old life even. We go through this process. And quite often, grief will go into anger and then back again. And that's okay. The important thing is to not ignore it, not stuff it down, to allow it, to accept it, and maybe even journal about it. Same goes for stress. Why am I stressed right now? Am I stressed thinking about a long list of things to do? 
Tackle them one at a time. Make a list and cross it off. Maybe there's things that you don't need to worry about right now. Maybe you can prioritize. You can make a date with worry every Friday afternoon. And when Friday afternoon arrives, oh, how much do you have to worry about on that list? Staying present is the best way to deal with any emotion, to sit with it, allow it to process through, go for a walk in nature, write a gratitude list, write a letter. If somebody's passed away or a pet has passed away, write a letter to them. And really they haven't passed away. They've transformed into their next evolution, which really should be celebrated. What a beautiful transition. Now coming into the planet, there are many people that are uh, death doulas because it should be a celebration of life. It should be a joyful time to play beautiful music, to celebrate with pictures, maybe videos. So that person may transition in a state of joy rather than fear. For there is nothing to fear about death. So if there's nothing to fear about death, then what other fears do you have? Fear of not good enough? Fear of failure? Uh -huh. We're all a work in progress. We're all perfect just as we are. There's nothing to be feared. The only time you should be afraid is if something's happening, that something's chasing you. You know, that might cause some fear. Or you're close to a cliff. I get it. Those are natural responses. And on the other side of most fear is freedom. All right. So we've been working on the throat. How's that feeling now? Just check in. And now I want you, you're just checking in with yourself. Keep your eyes closed. Stay in the present moment. Now we're going to go down to our shoulders and just relax those shoulders. You might wiggle them a little bit. You might shake them around. Just lower them. Quite often we carry the weight of the world on our shoulders and the back of our neck. There's some good exercises one can do for Qigong for helping relieve that. And I'll share some of those clips afterwards. One of the most important things you could do is lie on Mother Earth and ask her to support you and take it away. Quite often we're sitting at computers or we're driving and that forward motion is very hard on the shoulders and the neck. It's not a normal position for human beings. Not for the length of time that we do it. So counterbalancing that is healthy. Let's put some extra attention there and some extra love with this pink swirling beam. Helping to heal us and making us relax. Allowing us, giving us permission. It's coming down over the shoulders now. Starting on the chest. always in and out and it's working on our thymus and our higher heart doing that clockwise clearing clearing our field at the same time and our skin and just keep breathing through the nose nice deep breaths dropping down to our shoulders from our shoulders to our upper arms under our arms Remember, we have a lot of lymph nodes under our arms as well. And so one of my routines shows that you can tap underneath and activate those. Some morning activation video I'll share with you. Connecting with your body and showing your body love is of utmost importance. For when we connect the mind, body, and spirit, life gets easier. We're more connected. We're able to feel we can sense energies more. We can use our intuition more. We can respond to what the body needs. When we're living all up in our head, we forget about the body. And the body deserves the attention and love for when we love ourselves and it's easier to love others where they are. When you're good with yourself and you find your center, life gets easier. Now let's go over the heart the chest. And again, it's just expanding out and around in a clockwise direction and all through the cells, soaking us in this light, in this beautiful energy, frequency and healing. 
We're going to go down to the elbows, the sides of our waist, our rib cage. Uh, our ribs protect our inside, so to speak, but our ribs carry a lot of weight. We carry a lot of weight by holding our stomach in. We carry a lot of weight by uh, not moving our bodies properly, not realizing how connected we need to be through our body movement and giving attention, intention there. And sometimes we bruise ourselves without realizing it. And so let's just give some extra love for that beautiful rib cage that supports us. Just do some breathing in there. You can place one of your hands on it, give it some love, and feel your breath go in and out. Ah, the rhythm of life. I'm going to keep going down now to the stomach, the intestines, the forearms. And realizing that, oh, I'm so grateful. Look at all I can do with my body. And now in that upper stomach, we're going to spend some extra time there and just swirling the energy around. And we're going to take it down to the colon and back up again. And we're just going to let it almost like you're in a frequency tube running up and down there and just adjusting and healing what needs uh, extra attention at this moment, whether it's the upper stomach. Sending love there. The lower stomach. And the intestines. You may feel some gurgling and that's okay. I'm just giving some extra love there. There we go. And let's put our attention on our hands for a minute with the energies there as that swirl still working on our stomach and our abdomen. And we're going to put our attentions on our hands. Can you feel that tingling in your hands? Can you feel your fingertips? Just, just feel it. Just absorb that you can feel that. That's incredible. Again, where your attention goes, energy flows. This is important to remember because this is part of that connection to the body. And these hands do so much for us. We think about turning on the tap, the hand turns on the tap. You are manifesting all the time. The mind is telling the body what to do. So first is a thought. And then it's an action. This is how it works. All right, let's go back to our waist again and our belly. And you can put your hands on your belly if you like. Now that you've been activating them, keep your eyes closed. And keep breathing in through the nose, out through the nose, filling the belly with breath. And if you have a sore stomach, you can ask now. Ah, oh, stomach, abdomen, I don't understand what's going on right now. But I love you. I love you anyway. And breathe love into that space. If there's something I need to take to support my stomach, please guide me to show me. And then be the observer around that. Quite often with an upset stomach, apple cider vinegar generally will help. You could have a little baking soda and water with lemon juice as well. That is always beneficial. Licorice, licorice tea, whatever your body needs. So you can put it in your hand and body dose and ask. You always have a solution within you. Now let's move further on and go down to the hips. The hips is where we trap a lot of emotions. And so I do highly recommend stretching your hips out at times. For now, we're just going to put some attention and love there. Feel free to wiggle your butt in your chair wherever you're sitting. And remember that 
Your hips really support you too. Your whole body does. Wow. So incredible that we get to have this experience within this body to use the five senses to manifest what we desire in this realm. And we take it all for granted. Don't take it for granted. Gratitude, love, appreciation. Let's go down the thighs now, over the buttocks, the sides and the hamstrings, keeping that energy flowing, that love, pink love energy coming in and wrapping around in a clockwise direction all around your hips and your thighs and your legs and going to the knees. Ah, let's give those knees some extra love today. Play a very important role. It's kind of hard to walk without your knees, right? Or your hips. So having gratitude for we're able to move these bodies in a beautiful fashion. And your knees do so much for you and your kneecaps and the tendons and the ligaments. The collagen. Then go down to your shins, your calves the sides, a lot of tension. There's a lot of muscle there. Those muscles are important for the movement to just maybe wiggle your ankles a bit and let's have this energy swing around the ankles quite a bit in that clockwise direction and feel free to move your ankles, show them some appreciation, show them some love. So grateful for ankles. Be really hard to walk with stiff ankles, wouldn't it? Absolutely. And then the feet and remembering that our feet have all the points in the body as part of our system. And when we get sore there, it's correlating back to an organ. It could be coming back even just to your back, your stomach. So you'd be quite surprised. Then we have something in the body called our chi, our chi energy. And when our meridians, not unlike ley lines on earth, when our meridians or our chi energy is blocked, that'll cause a stagnation, which can cause an ache. So doing a little qigong is highly beneficial. Massaging your feet, foot detox, getting your bare feet on Mother Earth, just sending this energy around your feet, right to your toes, put your attention on your toes. And let's just imagine it running clockwise up and down to the ankle, to the tips of the toes, and it's focusing, and you can feel the energy running up and down like it's scanning and healing. It is scanning and healing. And then I'd like you to imagine gathering that chi of energy like pool between your feet. And we're just going to let that run in a clockwise direction. And as that's just running on its own right now, creating a nice base of energy, and it's pink. We're just going to keep going down into Mother Earth with our energy through our Earth Star Chakra and right down to the center of Mother Earth, running through the dirt and the rocks and the underground water and the magma and the crystal caves right down to the center of Earth, to the central sun. And you're going to take this beautiful 12th dimension peak energy, this healing energy, and you're going to wrap it like a ball of yarn around the central sun. And all you're doing is magnifying it and sending healing also to Mother Earth. But we're so deeply connected to Mother Earth. We are nature. Everything we eat, breathe, and drink comes from nature, or at least it should. And just keep wrapping that around until it's covered. Beautiful. And then I want you to wrap it around your original core, coming back up to your earth star chakra, coming up through the crystal caves, up through the magma, up through the underground water, up through the dirt and the rocks, and activating your earth star chakra, which is black. And it's just going to go out clockwise 10 feet. You guys are getting good at this now. Spin it out clockwise to 10 feet, visualizing the color black. This is your base. You are so grounded. You are so grounded right now. Feels amazing. And you can send anything negative in your body and just send it down to Mother Earth. 
she can transmute it and reuse it another way. So as we take this chi energy, this pool, we've allowed anything that has any pain, any aches, just send it down there. Send it down to the chi pool, down to Mother Earth to take care of it right now. And just feel your whole body relax. Now I'd like you to take that chi. And we're just going to drop amethyst in there and some magnesium, any trace minerals, whatever your body needs. You cannot add anything to your chi pool for you that isn't for your highest good. Then I want you to draw that up to your root chakra, bring in this flow of energy up with you. And your root chakra is red. And we're going to expand that out to 10 feet. And visualize the color red and just keep expanding it out. And again, it's clearing your field, purifying any energies that you've picked up, letting go of any emotions that no longer serve you, that don't need to be looked at anymore. That can just be released, let go of, transmuted, transformed. And let's go up to our sacral chakra. This is orange and expand that out to 10 feet. Any insecurities, any doubt, any fears, we're just sending that out. Any anxiety. Any stress? Beautiful. Let's go up to our solar plexus, our energy center. Activate and expand yellow out to 10 feet. This is where your power center is. Activate it. Feel it. Feel your entire body go and uplift in energy. You're activating your center. We've cleared out your meridians. You're now feeling stronger, centered. And then we go up to the heart chakra. We're going to expand this one out to 30 feet. Green, activate it. Out, clockwise, 30 feet. 432 hertz coming in from the green. And a great sense of peace comes over you. I have everything I need within me. I can deal with anything that comes towards me. I am mastering, connecting with my body, connecting with earth, connecting with the all that is. And let's go up to our throat chakra. This is blue and expand that out to 10 feet, activating our truth. When we share our truth, we share it from a place of compassion and love. We have a right to speak our mind, but give it from our perspective. No blaming, no shaming. Let's not blame or shame anyone for where they're at. It does no good. It only hurts you. In your judgment, you are hurting yourself. You're not hurting the other person. You need to let judgment go. Everybody's having their own experience. Everybody's on their own path. You know, we go through this phase and as we go through it, we come to realize that I can't control what other people do. I can only control how I respond. And so I choose I, quite often to not respond if it's not something nice that's going to be said. I'll choose to walk away instead of expelling my energy and making an energy connection with someone that will drain my energy. Let's go up to the third eye. Let's go up to indigo. And let's expand that one out to 10 feet. Beautiful indigo. Expanding the third eye. Dancing energies around your crown, your crown of thorns, your crown of neurons. Even just doing this, you're creating new neural pathways in the brain. It is bringing you a sense of calm and peace. You've got this. So I've activated the third eye and the crown now. Keep going. I've activated the crown now, white. Keep going up to the star chakra, to the purest white, expanding it all out to 10 feet. 
Imagine the whole thing just vibrating and expanding out. Beautiful. And now imagine this energy rotating around your entire body, going back down to this pool of chi. And then as you breathe in, pull that energy back up through all the centers and out the top of your star chakra and around like a fountain of energy. I want you to run this a few times, please. Keep running it through. Beautiful. Now let's put our attention with that back up at the crown. What we're going to do is we're going to take our energy, take our attention. And we're going to go on a little trip. We're going to go up a crystal escalator. And I want you to just visualize yourself, your energy body, if you choose to be going up this crystal elevator, escalator, you step on it, and you just start moving up and it's see through. And you can feel the vibration of the energy and it feels so beautiful. This too is so healing. And it's just slowly moving up. It's going up, 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 and you feel so safe and so secure. And as you look around, you're going to see all the birds. You're looking down on the trees. You can see the sun. The sun's starting to set. You can see the ocean and the water and the waves. And you're just in awe. Nature's so beautiful. Look how symbiotic it lives. How everything just knows its place and what to do. Even the ants. And this is what I wish for you. To live in harmony with nature. I'm going to keep going up. And the sun is setting and you're seeing a beautiful sunset. One of those sunsets that... Uh, no two sunsets are the same. Everyone is completely unique and beautiful, coming off the clouds, flashing on the ocean. Maybe you can even feel your feet in the sand if you chose to. Even on the escalator, you can do as you choose. It's your experience. And keep going up. And as we come to the top, there's a big round disc and it's also crystal. And you feel a little magnetized to it, so you feel very safe. Now what you come off the escalator and go on to the crystal disc. You're gonna to go to the center. And you're just gonna sit down, maybe lie down and just relax. Close your eyes, your eyes are closed, you're enjoying it. The air is so fresh feels so peaceful. And we're just going to spend a minute here. And if you have a question, ask your question. Maybe you'll just listen for a message that you need to hear right now. Maybe just a little silence, some peace, some serenity. Surrounded by love. And around the disc, there's walls of energy, and it's all pink and swirling around you. So protected, so safe.
Beautiful. You wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. We're going to get up now and go back down the escalator. And now it's, it's dark and the stars are out. So you get up slowly and admire the view. Stars all around you. Shooting star. And the moon is starting to come up on the horizon and peeking out. And the water is still lapping on the beach. The birds have gone to bed. As we go down the escalator, seeing shooting stars, maybe you see the Big Dipper, maybe you see Orion's Belt, and it's just so peaceful, so relaxing, and the crystal's so healing. We're going down, down, down. Now we're amongst the trees and you can hear the crickets and the frogs. The night comes alive. You hear the flapping of maybe a bat. You come back into your body now. And again, we're going to wiggle those hands and wiggle those toes. Maybe give a big stretch by putting your hands over your head. And slowly open your eyes. Come on back. There will be a recording. It's about halfway through. So anybody who missed it or you want to do it again, it's there for you. And how does that feel? How's everyone feeling right now? So grateful you're here. Did that feel peaceful? How are you feeling in your body? Take your time. Good. Lots of tingling. Yeah. That's okay, Leon. It'll be there for you. Excellent. <laughs> you can never get your energy to go clog. You just need to visualize it. You don't have to necessarily feel it. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. We all need it. I needed it. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So along with the meditation, I'm doing, I'm doing activations and healing on you guys. So I'm, I'm supporting, I'm showing your body. I'm not doing the healing on you. I'm showing your energy, what this energy feels like when you're, when you're in this elevated state. And that's my wish for all of you. So absolutely. Hi, Arlene. Yeah, absolutely. Peaceful yet crickets. <laughs> right? Absolutely. Yeah. I think most of the collective needs this. They just don't know that they need it. Right. So whether it's listening to a guided meditation or getting yourself out in nature. Absolutely. Yeah. You're so welcome. You guys, we've run a little bit over. So I'm going to send you all off with some love. Go have a nap. If you need to go lie down on nature and continue this. Yeah. And you can come back to it anytime. Absolutely. Sending you so much love. Oh, and if you could, please make sure that you like. If you're on Facebook and you're on um, Adventures for Connection, I need to start putting up a link. We're looking for reviews on uh, Facebook Adventures for Connection page. So if I could ask that you leave reviews there, I would greatly appreciate it. I will um, put a link in the comments down below for that. And um, we're working on setting up the Google page. So we're working on... Uh, creating and building, creating and building. And you're right here with us and we appreciate you. So wishing you all a magical day. Enjoy the rest of your day. Relax tonight. Just be kind to yourself. Have a bath. I love you. 
and Norma Jean's on tomorrow night and then Alex on Thursday and then the two of us on Sunday. So stay tuned. <laughs>